okay let's go look at this illustration to explain the the double entry principles and recording of such uh, transactions enter the following transactions in the necessary account we have started business with eight, eight naira cash and that is january 1st january 2nd uh, uh, uh paid insurance by check january 3rd receive refund receive refund uh of rent 15 naira january 4th bought furniture by check 500 january 5th cash drawings 225 january 6th withdraw goods 300 for use january 7th sold goods 400 naira on credit to st mike january 8th purchase uh cash purchases of 800 january 9th cash sales of uh, 560 january 10th received loan 1000 from mercy so that is the question we want to take it bit by bit and we will show the effect of such transaction we will show the action to be done to be taken in uh, recording it okay so let's start one by one let's deal with uh, January 1st January 1st started business with uh, eight, 18 era cash involved started business with 18 era cash involved here uh, we remember we talk about earlier we talk about the uh, entity concept here the owner of the business is introducing fund into the business and that amount he is introducing into the business is known as what is known as a capital so the two accounts involved accounts involved in this question is capital and uh, cash capital is giving and cash is receiving this what receiving this money capital is giving cash is receiving what is receiving this money so what do we do what do we do uh, the actions to be taken so action required to record this is that the giver here is capital capital is giving out cash so capital is the giver so required action is what we should credit the giver so credit capital which is the giver and the uh, debit cash which is the receiver or the receiving account and what would be the effect of this what is the effect of this remember cash is an asset and from a previous illustration a debit entry in an asset means the what there is an increase in what in an asset so there is increase increase in asset uh, that asset here is what is cash account and uh, a credit entry in liability capital is a liability so there's increase in what increase in what in liability and that liability here is what is capital account so that is the that is the actions to be taken and the, the effect of this uh, transaction so let's see the next january 2nd paid insurance by check paid insurance by check money are uh, the two accounts involved here is uh, insurance insurance and uh, and whatever payment is made by check we represent it in accounting as what as bank so there's nothing like check account so have insurance and what and uh, and uh, and bank so who is giving out insurance is receiving and the bank is giving out money so what is the action required to record this action required action required the action required to record this is the what 
which is our credit bank credit what bank because the bank is what the bank is the giver and debit debit insurance because insurance here is what is the receiving account or the receiver then what is the effect of this on the financial statements what is the effect the effect of this is that as we are creating bank remember bank is an asset bank is an asset so which means there is what there is a decrease in assets there is a decrease in assets and that asset here is what is bank account then there is a what there is an increase increase in what in expenses and that expenses here is what is insurance insurance accounts so that is the effect okay receive refund of rent receive refund of rent 15 era cash receive refund of rent 15 era cash rent was paid it means it, it means that there is an excess payment for rent and rent account is what is a uh, 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 refunding the money so the two accounts involved that are the two accounts here are one we have the rent account the rent account and uh, secondly we also have the what the cash the cash account so these are the two accounts involved what is the action required action required the receiving account here is cash so the action required is rent is given a refund to cash account so the action required here is what is uh, we shall what we shall credit rent account because there is a refund we shall credit rent account and rent account is simply what is the giver in this case and we shall debit debit what debit cash account because cash account is what is the receiver in this case as a result what will be the effect the effect of this on the financial statement the effect of this is that there is a decrease there is decrease in expenses decrease in expenses and the expenses here is what is rents then there is increase in assets and that asset here is what is cash accounts so so that is for uh, uh that is it that will be the entry for uh, uh the january 3 received refund of rent the next is january 4th bought furniture by check the two accounts involved here is furniture account furniture account which is an asset a non-current asset and uh, bank account furniture account and bank account what is the required action required action 
furniture is receiving so we shall debit what debit furniture account okay we shall debit furniture account because furniture account is uh, debit furniture account then credit bank account because bank account is giving out the money then what what would be the effect on the financial statement the effect of this on the financial statement is this there's a decrease in this what there will be an increase there will be an increase okay there will be an increase in an increase in assets which is furniture account and also a decrease a decrease in asset which is what bank account so overall overall effect means what in overall there is no effect do you know why they are in both classes the transaction involved are in both classes of all in both classes so there is no increase the general the overall effect is that there is no effect on what on the financial statement because the two items that are involved furniture account and bank account are in the same class they are in the same class of what class of uh, uh, elements okay so the next the next we need to look at is cash drawings 225 cash drawings 225 okay what are the two accounts involved there is cash account and there is drawings drawings there is cash account and there is drawings it means the owner has withdrew the owner has withdrew uh, you know has withdrew part of the capital he introduced so what will be the effect what will be the effect but let's before we look at that let's look at the required action required action cash account is given in this case because it's giving drawings so the required action here is that what we shall debit sorry let's start with the first item we shall credit we shall credit cash account because cash account is the what is the giver in this quest in this case and we shall debit drawings drawings account because drawings account in this case is the what is the receiver that is the receiving account so what will be the effect effect the effect is what uh the effect here is an increase an increase in drawings there is increase in drawings account and there is what there is decrease decrease in cash account okay so that is it so the next one is on the six we drew goods we drew goods for use now the drawings of the proprietor the owner of the business can be in form of cash and in form of goods so the two accounts that are involved here are drawings accounts also came in here drawings account 
and uh, purchases purchases account or for this case now let me we can say stock because the goods must have been what must have been in in stock okay stocks and uh, as I said earlier on stocks means different thing in different in countries so you can say inventory inventories accounts so what would be the required the required the required actions to be taken in recording this event we shall debit drawings because drawings is the receiving account so debit drawings account and uh, we shall credit inventory inventories account that is where you stop your what your goods the, 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 your goods that are yet to be sold uh, inventory so what would be the effect the effect of this transaction is that what here also there is increase in drawings there is increase in drawings and there is decrease in inventory in inventories okay so the next we have is uh, sold goods 400 on credit to St. Mike so the two accounts involved here is sales and St. Mike Sales are the Saint Mike are the two accounts involved. So what would be the required the required action? The required action sales is always a given account. So we shall credit sales credit sales account because Sales is a giver and is always a giving account. Then debit what Saint Mike, who is now a debtor, who is what receiver or receiving account. What will be the effect? Effect of this transaction. Effect of this transaction. Increase in increase in revenue increase in revenue which is what which is sales account then increase in receivable receivable which is what St. Mike account as what as a debtor so that will be the entry for that uh, transaction the next transaction that we need to consider is cash purchases here that means there is a purchases account these are the two accounts involved and there is what there is cash account what will be the required action to be taken if we want to record this the required action is for us cash is given and purchases is receiving fast purchases is always a receiving account so we shall debit purchases account and credit cash because cash is given cash account so the effect the effect is that what there is increase in what in purchases which is an expense account is an expense account expense account then 
decrease in what in cash which is cash account which is a what which is a which is an asset so as we can see it's an asset let's see the next question cash sales cash sales so the two accounts involved here is sales account and uh, cash account as I said here required action require action as I said earlier on cash account is always a given uh, sorry uh, sales account is always a given account so our required action will be credit sales account and uh, debit cash account which receive the money so the effect is this increase in revenue account that is sales and also also increase in assets account which is in this case cash okay so receive loan 1000 naira from mercy so we have we have uh, now look at it it was not stated either by cash or by check whenever such is like this and examiner is silent we always take what cash take note of that so this is cash account and what and the uh, mercy mercy you can say mercy or you say loan account whichever one stand for the second account so the required action required action is that there is an increase in cash so we shall debit cash account because it's cash account is receiving that amount cash account and the credit whichever name you decided to use mercy account or you use what loan account what will be the effect effect of this is a what there is an increase increase in assets which is cash then there is also increase in liabilities account which is what which is a loan or mercy account so this is how entries are being what have been taken so this is just a, a a preparation of how double entry should be is being what is being posted the double entry principle is being applicable or is being posted